Hello and welcome to a lecture based on relations and functions. Today we are going to deal up with the subtopic of relations and functions which is binary operations. Today in this lecture we are going to deal up with the binary operations. Later we are going to discuss the properties of binary operations and finally we shall conclude this lecture based on binary operations by discussing a numerical problem that would be based on the properties of the binary operations that we are going to discuss in the coming segment of this lecture. So beginning with the basic definition or meaning of a binary operation. A binary operation phi on a set A is a function from A into A to A. That is can be represented as phi is to A into A tends to A. Now phi which is a function of x, y can also be denoted as x, phi, y. Now here we use a symbol for phi as plus indicating addition, dot representing multiplication, minus representing subtraction and star representing any mathematical operation. Next we are going to consider a binary operation that is well defined. A binary operation is well defined if and only if whenever x is equal to q and y is equal to t then the binary operation on x and y is equal to the binary operation on q and t. Next we move to the properties of binary operations. The first property is the commutivity. A binary operator denoted by star is said to be commutative if and only if the binary operation on A and B is equal to the binary operation of B and A for every A and B in S. Now here real number addition and multiplication are commutative operation while subtraction and division in the real number system are not commutative. Another property of binary operations is associativity. A binary operation denoted by star is said to be associative on the set S if and only if the binary operation on X and Y along with the binary operation of Z is equal to the binary operation of X and the binary operation of Y and Z which can be represented as bracket X star Y bracket close star Z is equal to x star bracket y star z bracket closed for every x y and z in s here both addition and multiplication in the real number system are usually defined as associative operations another property associated with binary operation is closer property a binary operation denoted by star is said to be closed on a set a if and only if whenever x belongs to A and y belongs to A, then the binary operation on x and y is also an element of A. Next we are going to study the possession of an identity for a binary operation. A binary operation denoted by star defined on a set S is said to possess an identity if and only if the binary operation on x and E is equal to x and the binary operation on e and x is equal to x for every x in s where e denotes the identity element for example 0 is the identity element for addition in real number system since 0 plus x is equal to x plus 0 which is equal to x for every real number x whereas for subtraction 0 is not an identity element since x minus 0 is not equal to 0 minus x. Next we are going to discuss the inverses of binary operation. Now here we cannot even use the term inverse unless the set S is known to possess an identity E with respect to binary operation star. If this is the case then x in S is said to possess an inverse under the condition that the binary operation on x and its inverse is equal to identity and the binary operation of 
x inverse and x is equal to e where x denotes the element whose inverse is x inverse and e is the identity element as we have discussed earlier. Finally, we are going to consider a problem based on the binary operations and their properties. Now, the problem says that let asterisk be the binary operation defined on the set of natural numbers which are given as n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 up to infinity given by a star b equal to a to power b. We have to find that whether the binary operator represented by the asterisk is commutative and associative or not. As discussed in this lecture, for a binary operator to be commutative, a asterisk b should be equal to b asterisk a. Thus, we can consider any two natural numbers as a and b and we can find out whether the given natural number satisfies the condition for commutative or not. For example, let us consider a equal to 2 and b equal to 3. Thus, the binary operator can be represented on these two numbers as 2 asterisk 3, which is equivalent to 2 to power 3, which in turn is equal to 8. Next, we are going to evaluate the value of 3 asterisk 2, which can be found by the use of the binary operator, which gives the value of 3 asterisk 2 as 3 to power 2, which is equal to 9. Now, here we can see that 2 asterisk 3 is not equal to 3 asterisk 2. Thus, we can say that the given binary operator, which is represented by asterisk, is not commutative since a asterisk b is not equal to b asterisk a. Next, we are going to find the associativity of the binary operator. Now, as discussed in this lecture, for a binary operator to be associative, we should have bracket x asterisk y bracket closed asterisk z equal to x asterisk bracket y asterisk z bracket closed thus replacing x, y and z by 2, 3 and 4 respectively we have the given binary operation as bracket 2 asterisk 3 bracket closed asterisk 4 this is equivalent to 2 to power 3 asterisk 4 where 2 asterisk 3 has been replaced by 2 to power 3 by the use of the given binary operator this can be rewritten as 2 to power 3 whole to power 4 which is equivalent to 2 to power 12 next we are going to evaluate the value of 2 asterisk bracket 3 asterisk 4 bracket closed this is equal to 2 asterisk 3 to power 4 where we have replaced 3 asterisk 4 by 3 to power 4 by the use of the given binary operator this is equivalent to 2 asterisk 81 now this can be written as 2 to power 81 now as we can make out that equation number 1 is not equal to equation number 2 this gives us that bracket x asterisk y bracket closed asterisk z is not equal to x asterisk bracket open y asterisk z bracket closed thus we can say that the given binary operator represented by the asterisk is not associative with this we conclude another lecture based on relations and functions in which we dealt with the binary operations and their properties